Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. I have a Master's of Science degree in Human Nutrition and I'm here to help you build a high functioning metabolism so that you can get and stay effortlessly slim, lean, fit and healthy all while eating as much as you want. No calorie restriction here, no water fasting, no crazy keto diets. We're eating as much as we want of the right foods. What foods are those? Fruits, vegetables, starches, sugar to taste, a high carb, low fat, predominantly plant-based diet. So you're eating more of the right foods to push the other junk foods out of the diet so that you can get the results that you desire. So many people are just jumping on a quick fix, a keto diet, a water fast, a calorie restriction, um, carbohydrate restriction, <laughs> uh, weight loss drugs, fentermine, ozempic, you know, people are desperate to lose weight. But if you're not eating a high carb, low fat, plant-based diet, fruits, vegetables, starches, sugar to taste, if you're not eating that way, okay, you are losing weight at the expense of your health and your metabolism. So today I'm going to talk about something that um, influences uh, the reason why you start to lose health and, and damage your metabolism when you are eating in a way or doing things to your body that uh, forces it to lose weight, you know, but not in a healthy way, okay? So, and that comes down to cortisol. So cortisol is something that we need in our bodies to be um, naturally regulated or just stay within normal range. Okay. So cortisol levels can go up and down depending on what's going on. Generally they're high in the morning and then they're low at night. And then, um, if you are in like a fight or flight situation, you're going to be harnessing cortisol as well as other hormones in order to get through that situation. Cortisol also becomes elevated when we under eat on specifically carbohydrates. So when you're following a diet that limits your carbohydrate intake, where your glycogen basically runs out and you need to be able to make glucose from protein in particular, in order to maintain blood sugar levels, you're going to be utilizing cortisol. So any kind of keto diet, carnivore diet, low carb diet, calorie restrictive diet, low calorie diet, water fasting, juice fasting, that is, you know, um, calorie restrictive, um, any kind of uh, weight loss drug, fentermine, Ozempic, where you are under eating, okay, cortisol is going to be elevated to help you to create glucose. So the downside of that is that as cortisol remains elevated, it actually suppresses your immune system as well. So a lot of people think that this is a good thing. It, this is very common in the keto carnivore movement is eat all this meat, right? And you won't experience inflammation anymore. Well, the reason why you're not experiencing inflammation is because cortisol suppresses your immune functioning. It is what corticosteroids are designed to do, okay? Uh, think about prednisone. If you actually read the label of prednisone, it explains how it works and it causes immune suppression in order to decrease inflammation. So we don't want to be doing that. We want to know what state our body's in and if it is in a state of constant inflammation, we want to correct that with the diet, but we don't want to suppress it by eating in a way that produces a chronically elevated cortisol level because that will tax the system at the expense of our health and metabolism. And I made a video about Princess Kate a while back and I suggested in the video because she's always been very, very slim and it suggested that her diet was uh, relatively low carb, low calorie, right? That is a very common diet amongst supermodels, um, celebrities, um, and people who are in the spotlight, right? To maintain a very svelte and slim figure. Well, that um, style of a diet produces elevated 
cortisol levels, chronically elevated cortisol levels, such that you're going to experience immune suppression. And if your immune system is not able to work correctly, then it's going to open the door for these other ailments to start to um, come about. So that's basically it for today's video. I actually talk a lot about this um, and the mechanism behind how this all works in my coaching program. It's on sale right now until the end of the month, the end of July. Uh, so you can click the link in the down bar to get access to that and to find out how your metabolism works so that you can eat and live in a way that allows your body to be naturally slim, lean, fit, and healthy without having to do anything crazy and while supporting it in the process. So that is what I have achieved for myself. Something else that I want to say about cortisol is that over-exercising will also produce elevated cortisol levels. So you want to make sure that you're not only eating correctly, and a lot of times, um, eating enough calories will override, um, you know, over exercising. But if you're not able to eat enough, you're not able to rest enough, then overtraining can result in elevated cortisol as well. And again, it's going to result in immune suppression. So you really want to be taking very good care of your body. And my coaching program tells you exactly what to do and how to do it in order to get the results that you desire. Again, a just like letting your body settle into its natural state of being ideally at your um, lean, healthy body weight within a healthy, normal BMI range, you know, improving fitness, and then of course, um, optimizing your health. Okay, that's it for today's video. Leave any comments or questions down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.